Hey there everyone, this is Danielle playing some more Spyro the Dragon. I just forgot what the game was for a second there. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, last time we did two of the levels here in the Beastmaker's homeworld. Uh, this time we're probably going to finish up the home. Uh, we have about half of the loot here, uh, so we'll probably get the other half. And we'll probably do a level, or maybe two. Yeah, uh, there's a chicken. Which is roast chicken. Here's treetops, which is the level that we'll be going into. Uh, let's look around for loot around near at first. Because there is some, and I like to collect loot in this video game about collecting all the loot you can. Um, because it was stolen and then placed in random places by bad guys. Anyway, here's treetops. Let's go into treetops. So this level takes place in the the tops of some trees. Um, I don't know if you could you could maybe guess that from the title, but yeah, that's what happens. Pretty exciting, I know, right? Um, anyway, um, we're just gonna swoop in. Sparrow's flying directly toward the camera here, so if I breathe fire, it'll mess up out my view viewers. There you go, you're on fire now. Uh, sorry. <laughs> anyway, yeah, as as promised, we're in the treetops. You can see there's some more thieves, but they're not egg thieves. There's also a bunch of, like, uh, kind of questionable monkey enemies. The big ones will kick you, the little ones throw bananas at you. Uh, there's also, yeah, some thieves that are carrying gems instead of dragon eggs. I'm not sure why they're doing it like that. I think maybe it's because you don't actually need to get dragon eggs to progress once you've gone past magic crafters. Because there's only six worlds in this game, and the last world, obviously you don't need to um, get dragon eggs to go through it, you just have to beat the final boss and all that sort of thing. Because it's uh, Ganasty World, whatever it's called. It's got a funny name, I can't remember what it is though. I'm getting hit a lot. Um, kind of embarrassing. Getting plenty of gems though, which is what really matters. Kinda wish the gems, like, all became pearls or something when you revisited a level. Because the world's become very empty. Uh, Ukulele has the same problem, where stuff doesn't come back in some sort of ghost form. Whereas a game like Odyssey, like, you can still have fun getting various moons, even though you've already got them, and you get a reward for doing that. I suppose there isn't anything analogous to Odyssey's golden coins in this game, so it kind of makes sense, but still. Um, got the key, which is exciting. There's a dragon over there, which is also exciting. Let's rescue that dragon. Hello, dragon. It's Lyle. You see any insurance, dude? Doesn't look like it. For an amazing tour of the treetops, don't just stop at one supercharge. Okay, we can supercharge in this level. And I believe we have to stack our supercharges as well, which is what he's talking about. If you supercharge and then go on another supercharge ramp, you get like a double powered supercharge. It's pretty cool. to get hit with a banana that launches me off the edge of a tree and falling into the bottomless void of um de-ignition. There's the key that I still have. Oh come on. It's <sighs> gonna use up a bunch of lives here. Uh, I hope that's okay with everyone. I don't really want lives anyway. Get the key and then do a supercharge. There we go. Yeah, just interrupt the supercharge like that so you get across safely. There we go, easy peasy. Okay, uh, that's a life. So that's kind of handy because I lost a bunch of them just then. I'm missing up. 
That's a chicken. Um, that would be handy if I'd taken any hits, but I didn't, so I don't need one. Uh, oh yeah, I think I remember what one's gonna do. Yeah, you gotta do some really interesting stuff with superchargers to get everything in this level. Uh, we can just glide over there, so we will. That gets us over to here. Uh, I missed that chest. It was right there, so we'll need to backtrack to do that again. Because we can't break it open without a supercharge, because it's a padded chest. Um, I'm not sure how to get back, though. I can glide over there and just go from there. Okay, cool. I think I can hear the thief. Uh, who had a purple gem in this level, rather than a dragon egg, for whatever reason. Yeah, I'm hearing the thief, so... There's a thief around here somewhere. Can I go up here? Is that walkable? Uh, yes, but not very safely. <sighs> okay, let's get in this whirlwind. Okay, now we're on a supercharge ramp. Let's just run to the top and see if there's anything up here that's useful. There is! There are enemies I can kill that have gems inside, because that's how this game works. Because the enemies are made of gems. And if you've already got the gems, the enemies are made of pearls. Which is good, because that means you can get extra lives from the pearls. But also bad, because it means there's more enemies. <laughs> Um, so yeah, we need to supercharge into here to break that open. You can see regular charge won't work, and it's made of metal, so fire will not work. Super fire will work, but there's no super fire power up in this level. Oh no! Okay. Reigniting. Okay, we're back. Um, I believe. Let's see if I can spot it. There should be a ledge over that way somewhere, right? Yeah, there it is. I'm not sure how to get over there. I assume I'll remember at some point. What we want to do here is go this way. Ah! That was not good. <laughs> I got too much speed and just flew over where I was aiming for. <laughs> so, um, this particular level uses up a lot of lives because it's so full of bottomless pits. Like, everywhere. Let's stop and just go over here at a normal pace so I don't get too much speed. There we go. There we go. That's how you get that. Uh, then we want to glide back over there. And there's a bunch of stuff up there, so we do need to actually use two superchargers, like I accidentally did, uh, to get up there. So we will be doing that shortly, just not yet. Because <laughs> there's some other stuff I would like to do. Forget whether there's more down here that I need. Let's have a quick look around. Oh yeah, there's another chest up there that I need, so I do need to come in that way to get that one. Um, can't do it with this supercharge because it's going the wrong direction, obviously. Ugh, what am I doing wrong there? Hmm. Anyway, yeah, I need to do that double supercharge thing in order to reach the high up part above the return home portal. Which is easily done by dying and getting back to here, so... Yay! No? I'm not sure how you do that. Hmm... Maybe I'm doing it wrong. I must be doing something wrong, but I don't know what. Hmm... Yeah, this level is, is not kind to your lives counter. Which is 
probably alright because barely anything has used up lives until now. Uh, let's glide over there. Is something useful over there? Let's have a look. Well, there's a dragon. Dragon's useful. There's some sleepy enemies I can, I can take out while they're sleeping because I'm a monster. Here's the, here's the locked chest. I can unlock it. I have had the key for a while. There we go. Climb back up here, we can get that uh, monkey over there as well. Also, it's, it's dragon. It's Isaac, the cook. Spyro, if you jump at the end of a supercharge ramp, you can really go far. Yeah, I know. I'm all over it. I've been doing that a whole bunch at this point. Like, I had to do that in the previous world. <clears throat> to, to get to this world, I had to do that in um high caves in previous worlds. I suppose I could have not done High Cave and done a different level instead. I didn't, but I could have done. Okay, I'm pretty sure there's a thief like up there on top of this one. Let's glide back over here. Um, I'm not sure I can go anywhere else. Like, from from here. Oh no, I can glide over there. Let's go over there. See, so, yeah, this level is a little hard to navigate, honestly. Um, compared to some of the others that are a lot simpler. There's a bunch of stuff all over the place. Okay, so what you're supposed to do here is go off supercharge ramp somewhere and keep your charge as you go through this tunnel. But I don't know where to get a supercharge from. Uh, there's a whirlwind here. Let's jump in it. It gets me up here. Does that help me? Well, this room's pretty. It's glowing. It's nice. Um, where am I? <laughs> there's a couple of these guys. Uh, apparently I already killed one of them, but not both. So that's something. Uh, I can glide over to there, which is useful, because from over here I can get another shot at that double charge thing, I think. I think. <laughs> uh, let's see how we go. Yeah, yeah, I've got to steer better than this. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Am I supposed to jump back up there? That looks really hard. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. How am I doing? 65%. I'm still missing a whole dragon's worth. Jeez. This level is hard. <laughs> I may only do this one level in this video, just because it's proving to be a bit harder than some of the others. We'll see. We'll see how we go. Let's give this another shot. Yeah, I can't... I cannot turn fast enough. It's like a right angle. Hmm... What am I missing here? Enemies don't respawn when you die, now I think about it. Because that would be super frustrating. Can I 
reach there from here? Maybe. Ugh, seriously? I'll go in this way and see if there's something else I might have missed. Might make it a bit easier. Hmm. I glide back down to those windows it doesn't really help me if I do though. came from over there. Oh, that's not good. Mm. Bottomless pits, the level. This is a hard level. <laughs> it's, it's just, just, just bottomless pits everywhere. That's just it, that's all there is. Pits and they're bottomless. Yeah, I, I can't turn fast enough. I don't understand how you're supposed to do this. Then you have to jump up all these ledges? That's not gonna happen. Yeah, and the thief is up there, which I can't reach. And then there's Twirly Whirly here to take you back over there, which doesn't really help me. Hmm. Hmm. Are you supposed to? What am I missing? Maybe you meant to just go a different direction? I don't, I don't know. Yeah, this, this level is annoying. <laughs> um. Hmm. That's a good word for it. There's the moon, by the way. I can't believe they ripped off Mario Odyssey by having the moon. Alright, let's try doing it from this, this direction and see if that works any better. You're clearly supposed to be able to do this. No. No, that doesn't get you any additional height. Hmm. I'm a Confuse. Confuse go. Here we go again with the levels I can't figure out. I haven't looked at a guide in a while, so this is a little frustrating. Uh, let me see, let me see. Um, I feel like the platform down there means something, I just don't know why. Like this one. There could be a reason you can come around here, right? Maybe that's how you get over there, but this isn't a supercharge ramp, so I'm not sure how you would work that. This is a supercharge ramp, though. Um... Yeah, it just doesn't give you nearly enough height to get to the other spot. Hmm. Height or distance, I guess. Doesn't give enough of anything. This level is very confusing. Um, I imagine it's hard to write a guide about, so I'm not sure looking up a guide would actually help that much because of the way it's designed. 
<sighs> I believe actually 100%ing all the levels when you play them isn't the normal way to play Spyro. Because, you know, you don't have to do that. You can just get some of the stuff in the levels and it's enough. We've done 65% of this level, that would be enough. Like, we have enough gems and stuff. Oh. Hmm. Let's give this another shot. I feel like it's got something to do with doing it this way. You go off this ramp over here. You just can't turn fast enough. It's not gonna happen. That means you can't jump high enough there. You can only get to here instead of up there where you want to be. Let's see if walking on this edge helps at all. Not really. You can walk on it, but it doesn't get you much height. And this whirlwind is just going the wrong way, so it doesn't get, get you where you want to go. Ah! Dang it. Press charge too early. I'm confused. Um, I don't want to look up a guide again, but maybe I have to. Seriously? I'm pretty sure you're supposed to just double charge across there, but I don't understand how you can get through that second part of the passage. I don't, I don't think it's possible. Maybe you're supposed to do it with the other one, but I don't see how to do that either. Because it just doesn't give you nearly enough distance. I have vague memories of doing something like that. Like, when I played this game a long time ago, but... I don't know how to make it work. <laughs> Um... Also, there's that ramp down there, which doesn't seem to serve any purpose, because I can't see a way to supercharge onto it. And it doesn't have supercharge arrows itself, so it's not gonna actually launch you. I feel like it's how you get over there, but I don't... I don't see how to do it. Uh, let's just see if we can get close enough. There's all these, like, pillars and stuff in the way. Pillars, whatever these things are called. Sticks. <laughs> All these sticks in the way. Um. Okay, let's just look around here for a bit. So this one's a bit lower, and there's no ramp over there, so I can't go from there. The closest I can see to a ramp that would get you there is, is that one. But it doesn't have a supercharge on it, so it won't actually launch you towards that point. Um. Hmm. What am I missing? That one's easy enough. But it doesn't get you where you want to be, it just gets you here. And there's no other way to boost that. What am I missing? What am I missing? I think I might need to look it up. Where's my internet? Which I'm in what web browser. I know that they're different things. <laughs> uh, oh, that's not good. Spyro tree tops. Let's go, bum bum go. One of the more challenging levels. Yeah, that's that's what I thought. Shh. Uh, Green Thieves carry keys? Really? Doesn't, I don't think so. It looked like he was holding a gem. Hmm. In like a diagram or something. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm looking at the guide here, and it's just not helping. I need, like, a diagram. Uh, is this a diagram? Yeah, I've done that. I haven't rescued Jed. Oh, here we go. Train several ramps together, yeah. Oh, hang on. Oh, damn it. I think that's what I needed to do. Just make the jump over that way. A lot of these guides say it's the hardest level in the game, which I think I can believe. Ah! If you could slow down, that'd be great, but you can't because it's the way supercharging works. Okay, I'm doing this in the wrong spot. I need to be over there. Uh, can I get over there? Maybe. keep trying to do this. It seems like something that you're supposed to be able to do and maybe you're not going to achieve something by doing it. Oh, hello. <gasps> yes! Oh my goodness. Okay, so that's how you do that. Um, to reach the other dragon, you can do something different. Um, also very weird and difficult. Okay, if I got everything up here, I'm like absolutely sure. Yeah, okay. Okay, so yeah, to get the other one, we have to go back to uh, where we found that dragon who basically told us we could chain the jumps. Um, near the first supercharge ramp we came across, basically. Uh, not too tricky to get back to, but yes, tricky if you happen to be in the wrong spot to begin with. <laughs> Just head to here, take this whirlwind. So what you got to do... Oh, uh, is not that. There we go. Uh, what you gotta do, once you get to the dragon, uh, I'll try to, whoop, not that one. This one. <laughs> Basically, I had it, I had it sort of right to begin with, but not quite. Uh, what you wanna do is, oh, uh, Let's get here, get a checkpoint. You supercharge down here, you jump from that platform in front of us onto that other ramp like I was doing, but as soon as you come off that ramp, you turn right really, really fast, and you get yourself onto that ramp, but facing the wrong way. Then you climb up that ramp, jump across onto here, and then use this ramp to jump across to the spot you want. So yeah, <laughs> that's really hard. I'll see if I can pull it off. Oh, <laughs> almost. You can't really glide because that will cancel out your supercharge and we need the supercharge to do this. <laughs> that should spawn us in the right spot though, because yeah, cool. Okay, let's try this again. Yeah, I would definitely call this the hardest level in the game. <laughs> come on, come on. Yeah, no. <sighs> You have to jump right at the end, and you have to do a really sharp turn to cross that gap at the right time. Whew. Six 
some of the enemies are respawning. It's not all of them. I'm not really sure how it works. Ah, dang it. Yeah, that, that, that's the hard part, I think. Uh, I think. Alright, um, I don't want to get zapped by you, so, uh, yeah, I didn't think I could glide that far. I don't think I got zapped by the other fairy, so I should still spawn in the same spot. <laughs> okay, and I got everything else in the level, including, this guy doesn't actually mention how to get to the thief, which is interesting. I already got to the thief, though, so we're all good. Oh, seriously? That's a great start. I'm gonna use up all my lives here. And then you actually get warped back out to the beginning of the hub. Um, not that it matters because you can fast travel in this version of the game, but whatever. Mm. Yeah, I'm just not quite making that last little bit there. <sighs> No! Oh, that was so close! Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Did you see that? Oh my god. Anyway, that's where the last dragon is, and we need to rescue that last dragon. Should also be where the rest of the treasure is, hopefully. If it's not, I'm very concerned. No, oh, I jumped too early. <sighs> so yeah, this video is just going to be this one level, because this level is hard. I forgot that this is the hardest level in the game. Or I just didn't actually get all the treasure when I played it as a kid. Pretty sure I didn't get everything. Ugh. Supercharged jumps are hard. <laughs> Better be like 90 treasure over there on that little ledge. Oh my god. What just happened? Is it like a physics bug or something? I was still supercharging, but I went really, really slow. Okay, last life. No! Oh. Okay, so it actually still says reigniting on the game over screen. Alright. Do I have to press a button or something? Looks like there's a little loading bar at the bottom there, so I guess I'll just wait. Sparrow looks so sad. I'm sorry, babe. It's the hardest level in the game. I'm not that good at video games. I guess I'll just fast travel back in. Travel. Travel. Yeah, people in the comments are complaining that some of the stuff in the level wasn't mentioned. Like that last thief that I already got. Uh, anyway, the adventure continues. So yeah, I just have to get to the same spot again, uh, and do what I was trying to do, and hopefully manage to pull it off. 
And yeah, I'm not gonna do anything else in this level. Where did that green thief go? Is there a thief down there? Is that the same one? Hmm. I'm really confused about the different thief colors in this game. So here we are back where I was. There was an extra life here somewhere, I think. I don't know if it respawns. Eh, let's go. First try, heck yeah! Oh my gosh, that's more like it. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, there's a heck of a lot of gems over here, so this probably covers everything I hadn't already gotten. 400, 500, yeah. Awesome. Oh, wow. Hello, dragon. It's Jed. You were a young glider. Thanks, Jed. Yeah, well, you could have found an easier spot to get stuck. <laughs> 100% level complete. I am amazing at video games. And super cute also. So, um, thanks. <laughs> it's a pretty good combo, Imho. I'm just gonna head to the return home thing and we're gonna call that a video because I am amazing at video games and fantastic as well. <laughs> so yeah, there's a couple of thieves in this level but no eggs, which is interesting. I wonder if we have already have all the eggs in the game if it doesn't require any more. It's possible. Uh, anyway, let's return home after completing tree tops. Oh my goodness. That's a video. So yeah, next time we're gonna wrap up the Beast Maker's homeworld and we're probably going to do the boss as well. Uh, the boss is electricity themed because this is Beast Maker's and that's what you do in the Beast Maker's world. Uh, but for now, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed.